Hi there guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this um, smart um, intro in After Effects CS4 or CS5. This is it. So have this little light going over the top with the um, flourish effect at the end. So you can go to the download link below this um, video and download that flourish. And you want to open up um, After Effects and go to File, Import, File. And you want to import that file, so mine's on my... Um, yeah, it should be on my desktop. Um, you have to extract it, and it'll look like, and you'll just open it up. You don't need to use that at the start, but first off, I'm just gonna go get the text tool, and I'm just gonna write what I want to write. So I'm writing. Make sure my um, black and color is black. All right. Why is it gone blue? Right, so I found I'm using is Champagne and Limashores, so you can download that as well. I'll be in the link to s below this um, video in the description below the video. So um, first off, I'm just going to go to Effect. Sorry, make sure that your text is sh you click on your text Effect, um, Stylize, and then Glow. <coughs> and I'm just going to leave it as that. I just want a little bit of a glow. You can change the colours if you want. Um, and then we need to get to the important part of having this transform in. So if we come down here to this little um, tab at the bottom, um, just click it, go to text, and then once the text is open up, on this animate thing here, click the little arrow, and then choose scale. Then when this pops up, it'll show animator 1, and there'll be an add. I'm just going to choose add, property, and I'm going to choose opacity. And same again for add, property, and blur. Right, okay. So once we've got these open, I'm going to scale this up quite a bit. So about 185. So the, the, it's sort of overlapped the, the, each other. The opacity, I'm just going to put it to about 5 so you can just see it, just briefly see it. And the blur, I'm going to just add up so literally it just looks like nothing. So around the 100 mark, maybe a little bit less. Put it as 94. So it just looks like a massive blur. So I just up this a little bit. It's just a massive look, look like smoke. So, um, first off, I'm going to make sure that if I go to more options, on the anchor point, I want to make sure it is line, so like that. And then after that, um, on the range sector, this will show us, if I go on offset, this will show us it sort of coming in, and like that. So. I'm going to want to um, sort of take this to back to naught. <coughs> um, click on the offset button, make sure it's at naught. And then, I'm um, sorry, at 100. And then I'm going to take it to one second and I'm going to take this all the way back to negative 100. So now if I play this, as you can see, it just sort of flies backwards and then it will come back in again. Alright, okay. So <coughs> now I'm going to choose the advanced tab and where it says shape I'm going to choose this to ramp ramp down so now if I play this again as you can see it sort of blurs in and then falls into place but um, just to make it a little bit smart I'm just going to choose the ease low I'm just going to put this at um, I'll choose around around 70 80 mark so now it just sort of just slowly nicely comes in Do a second Right, so that's pretty nice. So that's that done. That was pretty quick. Nothing really need to briefly, but you know, pause it if I've gone a bit too quick. So now we've got that. So now we want that flare to come behind the text. So I'm gonna go to layer. Actually, I'm gonna choose a background first. I should have done that first, but I'm just gonna go to layer new solid, and I'm gonna make this a uh, a really a nice dark blue. And choose OK. I, I was going to do it with green, but I just chose now I'll do it in blue. And I'm just going to get this at, at the top here and choose elliptical tool. And I'm just going to drag out a selection path. Then on the mask, it'll pop up. And I'm going to take this down and just feather it out. Mask feather. Take it out so it just comes this nice colour. And I'm going to drag it below of the text. So now we have this nice sort of blue. And I'm just going to lock the layer. <coughs> so. 
now we want this flare so I'm gonna go make sure I clicked on the top one layer new solid make this a black um, choose OK now I'm gonna go to effect um, generate and then where is it lens flare alright so I'll pop up with this lens flare and there's a couple of type of lens flares you can use but I want something that's got hardly anything in front of it and as you can see this has got quite a big one same as this one and this sort of it's, it's pretty small and it's nice and bright so the best is 105 millimeter prime so I'm going to use this one um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure I'm on this and choose F4 and it'll bring up these um, type of mode and on the mode um, I think add works the best because it brings the background out and it really does stand out the flare that's the best way to do it so now we want this to move across to animate across so I'm going to make sure I click the top here and this little anchor pink or whatever will come up and I'm going to drag up in line of my text and drag it over to the right the left sorry to just so it's just off the screen and now you just have a bit of light coming from here alright drag your timeline back to naught seconds and on the text see we got this little bit of um, blur still I'm just going to hit T for the opacity, sorry not T I'm going to go down up to all my effects again um, so the animator 1 and then you know with the blur it, um, opacity we left it on I'm going to take that down to naught now just so we don't have it there and I'm just going to go back um, so I'm, I am rushing this I'm trying to fit it under the 10 minute but uh, mark that YouTube allows so I've chose this as add and now we want to get the flare center at the top here and hit the keyframe and at one second we want to drag this point by holding shift so it keeps it straight all the way to the other side alright so now if we play that as we can see the text comes in and this meets it right in dead in the middle and off it goes so we play this again and it comes off it goes in it comes, off it goes. Um, so, oh, sorry, make sure it's on that. I did actually find this original thing at, um, where is it? Um, VideoCopilot.net. So I asked you to go check that him out, Andrew Kramer, really good. Um, but I just wanted to try do something with this, make it a lot easier, and not um, make it that complicated. And I want to add, add our own stuff, own stuff of mine. So I'm not going to take all the um, you know whatever um, from this intro because it wasn't all made by me but now we're gonna add that flare that um, sorry flourish so we've got all this done and I'm just gonna drag the flourish on like so and then then I'm going to um, zoom out a little bit click on it just drag it down and then zoom in and if you just, um, I'm going to make sure that um, where the black solid starts, so at one second, just in front of one second I'm going to put it, and then you can see here comes the thing, so I'm just going to drag it alongside of where I want it to come in, and mine's going to be just off the S, so it's going to come in from the bottom of the S, like so, and I'm just going to drag this, oh, yeah, I'm just going um, to lock the back layer, flourish, I'm just going to drag it out a little bit, and then get it into place. So now if I play it, as you can see the flourish comes in and then curves out. And it stops on about three seconds. So there we are. And I'm just gonna drag this um end of time all the way down here. And then um I'm just gonna to this um flourish I'm just gonna go effect stylize glow and then on the original colors I'm going to choose this to A and B colors and then I'm just going to make my time uh, sorry my colors just a, a blue and then you can't really see much happening so I'm just going to go to the glow intensity and I'm going to up this to 4 so now I have this nice glow coming from this um, so this is sort of the intro now we've got this part coming in and then we've got this flourish developing and then um comes down and then I want it to sort of fade out before it gets to the end so I'm just going to drag this out a little bit and about here I'm going to hit T on this bring up the opacity make a stopwatch drag it to the end 
and then I'm going to take this down to naught and I'm going to do the same with the text, so click the text hit T, make it here hit the stopwatch, drag it to the end hit it to naught so now as you can see, oh yeah, as you can see it's now starting to fade out both at the same time so that's a nice little thing. So that's the intro guys. Afterwards you can go to composition, add to pre add to render queue, and then you can render this. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hope you should hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was rushed, but I'm trying to fit it into the time so you're gonna have to pause it and look back. But anyway guys, thanks.